Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is not going to be a tutorial video on how to overclock your GPU or CPU, but rather on how to use available tools to monitor the performance of your PC and be able to make the necessary adjustments to your settings for the best experience. As you can see, we have several information being displayed here, such as the GPU temperature, the utilization, the clock. We also have the core thermal throttling status, as well as the current download and upload rates. There are three tools that you need to use in order to display this information and much more to monitor the performance of your PC. The three tools that we're going to use to display the necessary information to monitor PC performance are MSI Afterburner, Riva Tuner Statistics Server, as well as HW Info 64. Download links to all three applications will be provided in the description section of the video. The Afterburner will include the Riva Statistics Server as an option to install during the installation process. Please make sure that you install all three programs in the default installation location as prompted by the installer. After the successful installation and launching of MSI Afterburner, click on the settings icon. From the settings icon, go to the monitoring tab. From the monitoring tab, I have selected the GPU temperature, the GPU usage, as well as memory usage and frame rates. In order to make sure that the Riva statistics servers can read this information, would select the item that you want to display, then select on Show in on-screen display. This will instruct the Riva server to show the information as you can see here. I have selected the GPU usage, memory usage, as well as the core clock, the memory clock for the GPU, as well as the frame rates. If you are currently running a modern CPU, it is more than likely the case that you will not have access to the CPU temperature as well as the CPU clocks, plus other information that you really need to monitor the performance of your PC and decide where is the bottleneck. Is your PC throttling, for example? And so in order to have this information, we need another program which is called HWINFO64. HWINFO64 is truly a great tool that provides you with granular access to all the sensors available in your PC for better performance tuning and monitoring. In order to display the additional sensors available in HWINFO into the Riva Tuner Statistics Server, you need to first click on Sensors. Once the sensors are loaded, you'll be presented with a lot of different sensors to monitor, but you can only choose the ones that aren't necessary for performance monitoring. Then we're going to click on Configure Sensors. From this menu, we are going to go to the OSD tab and then start selecting the sensors we want to show. As you can see here, we have the core clock as well as P-Core 0 uh, clock speed as well for illustration purposes. I have the core temperature, the CPU package, the core max that has reached during this session, and the uh, core thermal throttling, which is very important. Uh, you definitely want to know if the settings uh, are causing your, uh, your system to throttle. And uh, I have also the download and upload rates uh, so that I can monitor the internet performance as well. Sometimes, for example, if you get blurry textures, you want to know if this is due to uh, a problem with your internet or there is uh, something else within the sim. So very useful information. Of course, there is a multitude of other information that you can include. And in order to include this information into the Riva Tuner Statistics Server, all you need to do is let's go to one of the ones uh, that I have selected, which is the core clock, for example. We're going to say show the value in OSD, show the label on OSD so that it actually puts the label here. And you can also select the position. So I have this particular um, sensor on line one. So it's position one and column one. You can also change the color. As you can see here, I've changed the colors 
of the uh, download and upload rate uh, using color here. You can click that and change the color here. You can also select to show a graph uh, if that's what you want to do. And you can uh, change the width, the margin, the height of the graph. Uh, I'm not going to select a graph uh, for this particular uh, tutorial, but I just wanted to really show you what you can monitor. Now that we have everything, by the way, this is all automatic, as you can see here, Riva Tuner, yes or no. So once you select it here, it will turn that into a yes. Be sure not to close the HW Info 64, but rather minimize it. Also, be sure that the sensors window is turned on. Do not close the sensors window. All of this information is going to be removed uh, from the display. Now, let's take a quick look at the uh, Reva Tuner Statistics Server. Uh, worthwhile mentioning that you have a show on screen display on and off. So if I click this, I can toggle the screen on or off. And I can also change the position of the actual display on the screen here. So if I click here, as you can see, it will show you where the display is going to show relative to your screen, as you can see here. And I can move this down as well if I want, and it will adjust the position of the display on your screen. You can put it wherever you like. There are also other things that you can do with the Riva Tuner Statistics Server, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I just really wanted to introduce the tool to you and show you some of the basic um, uh, elements that you can display here for performance tuning. Worth mild mentioning that from the MSI Afterburner screen, you can actually set a shortcut to toggle the screen on and off so that you don't have to come back to the Riva Tuner server uh, during your InSIM experience. So if you go to the on-screen display, you can toggle the on-screen display with a shortcut. I have letter F selected to toggle the screen on and off. Well, folks, this is it for this short tutorial video. I hope that you have found it useful and insightful. If you have any questions, as usual, please do post them in the comment section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for tuning in, and bye-bye for now.